All right, we're here in the Otterbein post-match with head coach Monica Wright alongside seniors Marie Thornton and Morgan Lowenkamp. Uh, coach, obviously not the result you wanted tonight. Uh, maybe just a few general comments, thoughts on the match. Um, yeah, definitely disappointing. I think uh, it was it was just one of those matches where we could just we could just never break momentum. We could get a little something going, and then and then Ohio Northern seemed to to answer right back. Seemed like a couple balls bounced their way. Um, just wasn't our night tonight. Yeah. Um, you got the conference player of the year sitting to your right. Um, very rare that you have a player here in a post game press conference that, that didn't suit up and put on a uniform. Um, Morgan, life's not fair, and uh, today wasn't really fair to you. Um, I guess if just thoughts on your day and kind of suffering an injury this morning in practice and not being able to go. Yeah, I mean, of course it was hard um, to not be able to go out and fight with my team um, on my last game of my last of my career, but um, I'm so proud of how the girls responded to it and how they handled it. And, you know, Tate Eppard went out and she killed it and she um, wasn't nervous. She went out and she did her thing. So I'm so proud of my team. I can't be that upset for how well they did. I'm super proud of them. I'm ending my career super proud of my team. Mm -hmm. Marie, talk about the challenges. Um, whether we were full strength or not, you knew you were going to get a great response from Ohio Northern today, who you've already beaten twice. Just talk about some of the things that they did that kind of gave you guys trouble out there. Yeah, I mean, Ohio Northern always comes ready to fight, especially a team that this is their third time seeing us. Um, you know, they're a team you have to respect, and I think they were ready to take us on, even though we were facing a little bit of adversity. Um, you know, they they were on top of their game tonight. I think they knew where our weak points were, um, and, you know, I think we just had trouble responding to some of those, but, um, I mean, we still fought hard. I think we tried to overcome what we could that they were throwing at us. So. Mm -hmm. Monica, uh, I guess what's it like walking through pregame when, I mean, she's really, a, Morgan's really a game time decision and you're trying to prepare to go with or without her. Uh, it just was a lot of cluster right there uh, before the match. Just talk about, you know, and I guess, you know, they always say next man up and, and you know, you threw yeah. the team out there that you had to. You know? uh, we felt confident. I mean, obviously we were, um, you know, wanting Morgan on the floor and thought there might be a chance she could play tomorrow and um, you know Tate stepped in and, and done a good job for us in other situations this year she's um, very poised very confident player um, and I think she you know she did her job I think um, you know defensively we were just a little off balance tonight um, and, and that's that's the difference that I'm seeing here on paper I mean that's their high hitting percentage and that's our lack of digs and um, you know I think it was Northern winning the defensive battle tonight, but I also have to look back at the past, you know, six and seven matches, and our defense has been absolutely dominant for the last eight or nine matches. Mm -hmm. um, and and the growth that we've had on the defensive end from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, I think, has allowed our phenomenal offensive players to get into a rhythm. Um, you know, so so we really can't point a finger at our defense because the success that we've had at the end of the season um, is a direct result of them kind of knowing that they needed to step it up so that we could get the ball to Morgan and Murray and Alana and Hadley and, and um, you know, our other players. So I'm really proud of our defense. It's just, you know, I just, I just wanted them to keep playing like they had been uh, the last couple weeks. But um, I think we grew a lot this year. Yeah, Murray or Morgan, I mean, this one's obviously still fresh. It's just a few minutes ago, but if I were to sit there at the end of last season and you guys finish 16 and 14, I tell you the next year you're going to win 30 matches. They're going to win a conference regular season. You're going to win a conference tournament. You're going to host an NCAA regional. What would you have thought or what would you have said back to me? <laughs> yeah, I would not believe a single word yeah. that you said. Yeah. I would say how. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, post game in the locker, um, coach made a good point. I think our hard work in the off season and in the summer and, um, spring ball for the girls. I mean, that's huge. Off time is huge. The work that this team put in, I mean, that's got to be high caliber for the next years to come. I mean, I think that definitely made the difference for this year. Um, and it really carried over into um, our physique and how um, just our strength on the court and everything. Um, you know, I think that's what it's going to come down to these next few years. Mm -hmm. Morgan, I guess each each year, no matter what sport you play, I guess each year, each different team kind of develops a unique identity. What kind of when you look back on the season, what kind of identity do you think this team had, and how do you hope maybe that carries into future years? Because obviously, you guys unfortunately have to graduate and leave. But kind of what mark do you feel like you've maybe created this year that, that can continue on? Yeah, um, I think this year. I mean, like I've said before, it was about culture. Our coach, all of our coaches, kind of instilled in us that we have to have better team culture. And this year, we just really all clicked. And, you know, if we had problems with each other, it was not shown on the court. Like, we got along on the court. We clicked well on the court. We played well next to each other on the court. So, um, I mean, I'm going to miss playing with this group of girls because of that 
culture that we built together. So um, I'm really excited to see how they continue to build that culture in the future. Mm -hmm. Monica, I guess last thing, just talk about maybe the support of this community. And, you know, we, we had a lot of firsts this year and hosting this regional was one of them. Um, you set a rec center record for a volleyball crowd last night with almost 1,200 people in this place. Uh, I guess just uh, comments to the general public around here that's kind of been with you guys uh, um, as you've hit the second half of the season and, and created some momentum. No, th um, thank you would be, you know, what I would want to, to tell this community. It was, it was awesome to see, you know, alums and fans. And I met a guy at Panera this morning who was like, hey, I might come over and watch. <laughs> but... Um, you know, I think that, that Otter Rhine Volleyball has, has, you know, done a great job promoting the sport this year. And, and um, you know, all of our fall sports have really, uh, you know, had fantastic seasons. And it's, you know, it's fun to support everybody when everybody's, went, you know, doing so well and competing so well. So, you know, tons of students here to support us, even though they had to pay. So that was awesome to see. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, it, it, it was definitely a fun ride, especially these last couple weeks. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. I know sitting here after a loss isn't easy, but um, congrats on a great season and best of luck moving forward. Thank you.